Hello and good morning, everybody. Okay, so I have some errands to run today. A little bit busy of a day, not crazy. I have a doctor's appointment later, but right now I am on a special mission. And my mission is to prove to one of my family friends <laughs> that the Kirkland name brand is amazing. And how do I prove that? Well, first of all, I sit there and tell you all of the things that Costco can do for you. That's number one. And then I bring you a gift bag of toilet paper and paper towels that are Kirkland brand so that you can try it out for yourself. They're gonna be hooked, I'm promising you. Um, everybody knows I love Costco. You know I love Costco. And if I can save other families money, I'm gonna try. Um, and Costco is one of the best ways to do it. You buy in bulk things that last, things that are staples in your home, and you get deals on it. It's awesome, absolutely wonderful. Um, their family is not as big as ours, but close. So, um, I, ju I just get really excited to like help people save money, and I also get really excited about the fact that I found something that works really well for our family, so it should work for your family too. So that's where we're heading. We're heading to drop off a little gift bag, toilet paper and paper towels, um, and then I have to stop and I have to fill up our water jug, and then back home for a little bit before I gotta run to a doctor's appointment. All of the things today, but I'm bringing you guys with me. So here we go. Okay, we are here. Let's go deliver some goodies. Hello. Goodies for you. Enjoy. All right, and now on to fill my water up. Next errand, because why not? You have to have errands to live life. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and put an order in at Sheets for two strawberry milkshakes and a bucket of curly fries? Okay. Thank you. All right. I'll Love be you. there in just a minute. All right, bye. All right, on to our next. On to our next. Listen, y'all need a little treat sometimes. I'm out here doing all these errands and now we need a treat. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself until I get on a scale and then I go, I shouldn't have had that treat, but I'm getting a treat. So, one more stop to get our treat, do my last errand, and then we get to go home. <laughs> Here we go. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a little life hack. My life hack is if you live in an area that has a sheet, and a Sheets gas station. Right now, well, for a while now, for a couple of months, they've been selling curly fries. And the curly fries taste exactly like Arby's. And I am talking 
like you couldn't tell the difference like blind taste test could not tell the difference between these fries the closest arby that we have or arby's that we have to us is probably like 40 45 minutes away so the fact that i can drive two minutes away and get the exact same type of fries that is a win and their milkshakes are freaking awesome too so here we go on to home let's see what else the day gives us so here we go more running around more errands i'm off to my doctor's appointment um as soon as i get back though i have a recipe i want to share so i will jump back on and show you all the recipe see you soon hello guys welcome back um or here I am, or whatever you need. <laughs> it's been crazy. Listen, even stay-at-home moms can have rough Mondays. And it happens a lot. And today was kind of like, it wasn't horrible, but it was just a lot of moving parts, a lot of moving pieces, and just all the things, and, you know, appointments and errands, and now it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and... I'm gonna have a cup of coffee because I'm struggling, because I'm dragging. Yeah, but anyways. So I wanted to quick show you this recipe. It's already put together. This is, an, this is what I call an Italian meatloaf. It is meatloaf, it's got Italian cheeses, it's got the marinara sauce on it. Um, basically, I will tell you how I make this. Um, I went ahead and I actually put this together last night and I wrapped it in tin foil and I put it in the fridge. Um, this was supposed to be last night's dinner, but the girls and I had gone out and we ended up being out for a little longer than what I thought we would be. So by the time I got home, I was nowhere interested in making anything to eat so it was a chicken finger and french fry dinner night um but anyways i did go ahead and i and my oven's ready i did go ahead and i started with four pounds of meat in a bowl uh four pounds of like ground round you can use the 80 20 mix really whatever makes you happy um to that i added two packets of mccormick's meatloaf seasoning um, this is one of my favorite seasonings to use. It just cuts out having to do all the guesswork. I went ahead and I added four eggs. I added one third cup of Worcestershire sauce. I added one half cup of panko Italian style breadcrumbs. I added one cup of milk. And then I added two cups of Italian mixed cheese. Now really, again, that is up to your preference on what type of Italian mixed cheese you wanna use. Um, but then I went ahead and I formed it into a loaf. Um, and I put on top of the loaf, I, I put like a line down the middle cause it helps it cook more evenly. And then I added more cheese on top of it. And then I added our favorite marinara sauce. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop this in the oven at 375 and I'm gonna cook it for about an hour and a half. Um, and that should be good, it's a lot of meat in there. And I'm probably gonna pair it with mashed potatoes. I have the potatoes cut up, I've had them cut up all day, I've had them sitting there on the stove. But now I'm almost wondering if I should do something different. And instead of doing a mashed potato, maybe I should do a roast like roasted vegetables, do potatoes, carrots. I might, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, that's, that's it. That is dinner, that is, that is our day. Um, still working all the kinks out of bringing you guys along with me. Um, this week kinda has a couple of things going on. The next time I probably see you guys is probably going to be on Logan's birthday, which is on Thursday. Um, our baby boy is turning three. He's not a baby boy anymore. He's a little boy. And it just breaks my heart because he's just growing so fast and I just don't even know where the time goes. But this is how it is every year with birthday season. You know, our birthday season is legit from August to January. There are one to two birthdays every single month. 
And so every single month I sit here and I say to myself, how are these kids growing up so fast? How are they this age already? Like, it's intense, but that's most likely the next time I will see you guys. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, definitely come back, but really tell your friends. Share this, tell them to come over and um, jump in on some of these recipes. I do it to help everybody else and I would love to see this channel grow. So definitely take the time to do that and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.